have just a couple minutes of your time before the match starts. I would like to introduce a couple people to you. I'm going to ask Dan some questions. And uh, Dan, where where did you go to college? Thank you, first of all, thanks for having me out here. I went to Syracuse University. And uh, you went on to get a uh, bachelor's degree, and then you, where did you get your law? I went to St. Thomas University in Miami, and I had a JD and MBA in sports management. You're a lawyer here today, and then when he was on the road promoting to, what would you say, what are you actually promoting? I'm here as an advocate for professional athletes who are not the stars that you see on TV, but the ones you see here that are uh, uh, grinding, as they say, they're going tournament to tournament, uh, for small prize money, but working hard to work their way up. And I'm here to try to get the word out about what it's really like for them on the tour. How expensive it is, how hard they work, and how fans and sports enthusiasts can get involved and make a difference. And uh, give me a little bit of an idea about the gentleman that's on my left. Sure. Uh, this is Vahid Mirzadeh. Uh, he played for Florida State University last year. He was the 2011 NCAA Arthur Ashe Sportsmanship and Leadership Award recipient. That is a, uh, that's a highly regarded award in uh, college tennis. He uh, also is, uh, is playing tomorrow in his four finals this year in doubles. Uh, this is his first year on tour. He just started in January. Tell me what your company does. This is his passion, not his job. His job is letting him follow his passion. So he's an attorney by day, and by the other days, he's raising money to keep kids, young men, on the tour chasing their dream. And it, uh, what does it cost you to be out on this tour right now? Uh, well, probably the average week to week you spend in a given future event or pro event is probably at least a thousand. That's best, maybe more a week, $1,000. $1,000 a week. The prize money of this whole tournament is $10,000. So if he happens to win the singles, which he's not in, he would have made about $1,300. And uh, this is a real grind. How long will you stay doing this? Uh, well, I mean, I've been saving up since college, so I'm kind of playing with that money I saved. And uh, hopefully I can keep doing well to getting by through tournaments, making double singles or doing good in singles. But uh, just keep going until so the fun uh, comes to play. And this may be the fun man. Why don't you tell us even what you do? Well, let's just give an example. Uh, if I need wins tomorrow, uh, he'll earn about $450. I'm not sure it's even that high. And, and like he was saying, an average week on tour costs between $1,000 to $1,500. So this is. So this is a loss uh, financially to be out here. Uh, the idea is to work your way up, of course, uh, where there's bigger prize money sponsorships um, and, and allows you to really have the uh, tools that you need to succeed on tour. In any case, I created involvedfan.com based around this concept that the players really need the help and that hopefully the fans, uh, sports enthusiasts, uh, are interested in getting involved and really helping out the players in a whole new way. It's, it's great to be out here. Clearly, it's fantastic. And it's just another way of being involved and helping out. So what you can do is you can go on the site. It's www.involvedfan.com. I'll hand out water bottles for you after this, so you can take these home. You won't forget what the website is. You can you know use it and uh, you remember where to go tonight. Uh, you go online and you'll go to uh, support athletes, hopefully, and you'll check it out. Uh, there's a list of players. Uh, you can click on a name and you can see a, a biography of the player, see who they are, what they're all about. Uh, you can learn more about Baghi and you know, what he's done in his college career at FSU and now professionally on tour. And if you're able to, if you want to, uh, you can help out. $20, $100, whatever it is, every bit counts. Uh, players are responsible for their own expenses. So this includes hotel, airfare, tournament entry fees, coaching costs, having your racket strung, which might seem like uh, nothing, but in fact, how many rackets do you string in one tournament? I need at least four to six rackets, and that's kind of how long you go in the tournament, but 
Okay, and that's and it's like twenty dollars to practice. So right here is a uh, hundred twenty dollars. So even you know twenty dollars is out. Streams of racket makes a difference. So in any case, hopefully uh, you will check out the website, pass the word along, and uh, help the players get to where they need to be. Help give them the tools that they need in order to succeed. Well, that is a passionate player and a passionate sponsor with all the time that he's put in with the website. You were also on uh, ESPN, is that correct? Correct? Yeah, uh, I was having uh, lunch with a, a writer for ESPN Magazine. She loved the idea. She thought it was not something that is needed. So we're currently featured in ESPN the Magazine, page 40. And also if you go to ESPN.com, uh, there's an article about involvedfan.com on there as well. So uh, it's starting to get some traction. And uh, hopefully, uh, again, hopefully you'll at least check it out and see what we're all about. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And uh, good luck in the doubles. And uh, next year we are uh, toying with making sure that all the players that are in the main draw are housed. So if you're going to be interested in housing a uh, player, all you have to do is leave your name at the front desk and uh, make sure you get the active uh, email and a cell number. And then we will put that uh, as the next part of our uh, tournament that will make us even better. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Good luck in the doubles. Let the game begin.